Howdy y'all, it's Aaron here. Have you ever picked the wrong ad to try to scale? Yeah, me neither. Uh, but in this video, I'm gonna share with you how we pick winning ads that you and Facebook are both confident in. As always, make sure that you grab something to take notes with and stick around until the end where I'll be sharing with you how to scale those winning ads. All right, so number one is, what do we consider to be a winner? That's a very important part. There's so many numbers, metrics, theories, suggestions by gurus out there on the interwebs, and it can be a little confusing, actually confusing as heck. But let me try to simplify things for you because there is no reason you should be complicating advertising with your business. Facebook and any other social media advertising platform were built to make you win because if you do win, you'll spend more money with them. They want you to spend more money, right? Makes sense. That being said, their main priority, their number one priority is to keep the users happy on their platform. So an ad that has a high cost is likely because it's not a good user experience for their audience and your customers, right? They're trying to help. Now, I'm sure you understand why it is so crucial to pick the right ad that your audience, you and Facebook all love. A winning ad for us is based off of one thing and one thing only, sales. Now, if it doesn't have sales, then it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, you can't cash in on likes or engagement or traffic to the site. You can cash in on sales. No matter how we spin it, you are in business to generate sales. Yes, it is that simple and no click to rate, cost per click do not matter, contrary to popular belief. So choosing an ad that generates sales is the absolute number one goal. In this section, I'm gonna be jumping into Ads Manager and show you how to make choosing easy. But before we cover how to choose the right ad, I just wanted to say howdy. My name is Aaron. I'm one of the co-founders here at Bitbranding, and we're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. Now, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest strategies for clothing stores. We drop new content for you every single week. All right, so number two is how to choose the right winning ad. All right, let's jump into Ads Manager so I can show you in real time how I would choose a winning ad from a live campaign like literally right now. All right, so now that we are in Ads Manager, I just wanna give you a quick breakdown. This is a dynamic creative campaign. Uh, we don't really care about you know the specifics of this too much, but what that just means is that there's multiple ads running within uh, one particular ad. So one ad set, so one audience going, and there's several different ads which we will see here. So for example, what's happening right now is we have all these different ads that are running in this particular campaign and we see that there's a return on ad spend of six um, the website purchase here is 0.59 and then we have other areas that's making uh, the, the bulk majority of the revenue right so uh, total actual sales i don't know there's been 13 purchases um, offline purchases unique purchases anything like that so anyway um total actual purchase value, we, we could get into that. But my point is it's made six times its money, spent a little bit of money to do that. Uh, but I wanna find this winning ad. It's been running for a while. This is a spring DCT, which if you're watching this video when it was supposed to be released is sometime summer of 2022, it's still doing well. And if they still have the products in stock, we are still running that ad. May likely need to turn this off soon because uh, we're gonna replace it with some other things. But if we were to find a winning ad here, what I would wanna do is go to breakdown by dynamic creative element, click image, video, and slide share, uh, or slideshow rather. And we can see very quickly that there's, okay, so there's three options, um, or three ads that are currently being run here. Well, one has a three on return on ad spend, another one has a six, and this one right here has a 13 times. So really, really um, doing well. I, I would do that, uh, I will take that return every day of the week. Um, and it also has a positive return on the website too, almost a two times return on ad spend here. So now we're like, okay, well, how do we know what the post ID is or what do we do next or anything like that? Um, that is all coming up. But my point is you would go in through here, You, you I would do the biggest date range you possibly can for as long as the ad has been running and then find the ones that are actually getting the purchases. So let's see here total number of actual purchases. So this one only gotten two, so the return is kind of high, uh, or the return is high for just the amount that it's spent. Um, this one actually has more purchases, but not really a winner there. And then this, okay, so here it is, there we go. This is a very similar one. Looks like there's 
Okay, this one has graphic text. So the graphic text one has two purchases. The one without the graphic text actually running probably a very similar amount of audience. Cost per result, $36. Isn't that crazy how this is the cost for the one with it is a graphic and then this is the one that is not. I will tell you right now, it, that's just an anomaly. A lot of times the graphics actually do better. Um, it really just depends on the audience. So it's a uh, small sample size here of, of 6,000 people between each one of them, pretty good division. Uh, but this is also an interesting part too. This total reach is 15,000 people, only five purchases. So as we can tell here, clear winner. Um, I probably won't pull in either one of these, but this one right here is well within range of finding um, a winner. The main thing that you have to understand here is that you, inside of Ads Manager, have to be able to trust your numbers a little bit. Um, now, they're, they're accurate with the baseline of understanding that these are the numbers that we're working off of, but it really can fluctuate quite a bit. And so the one thing that has really helped us make choosing the right ad easier is getting accurate data so that we can make better decisions. For the most part, Ads Manager is lying to us, not on purpose, uh, but with all the iOS changes, the lack of data, um, it's really killing numbers. Some things, right, it could, we could have came in here and it could have told us a completely different switch of what's actually happening within the business and we would have made a decision based off of false numbers. All right, so speaking of real numbers, YouTube loves seeing the number of likes on a video. So please do us a favor and hit it. Uh, if you do that within the next 3.5 seconds, we'll show you a picture of a smiling toddler. All right, speaking of real numbers, we love those real numbers, just like I said, which is why we've been using a software called TripleWell for all of our ads tracking and decision making. We moved every single one of our clients and group coaching members over to TripleWell and it's been a game changer for us and them. They recently announced that they are the most accurate data attribution platform available now at 99.7% accuracy. What does that really mean? It just means it's really freaking accurate data uh, for your business. So if you're interested in learning more uh, about them and Triple Whale and just how they can help your business, check out the description down below. All right, so you probably remember that we found a winning ad here, this one with six purchases, uh, cost per result was $36, making six times our money. Actually, I think it was a little bit higher. It was a little bit higher, 13 times our money. Amazing. All right, so now that you cannot necessarily grab the post ID, which you normally can't, Facebook's just being a little finicky right now, you can use one other option, which is to use an existing post. What you would do is go to change posts. You can look through all posts, which is not only, for example, on the left-hand side, all posts, published posts, ad posts, scheduled posts, it will pull through everything. The only issue with this and the issue for recording this part of the video is you'd have to scroll through if depending on how many times you posted thousands of different combinations. But for this intensive purposes, let's just say that we found this ad post and we went through here and we found um, the winning number. Let's just say that happened. Um, I'm gonna say, just pick a random one. What you would see is, hey, this is the, this is the particular one that I'd want. Um, you can actually copy it to your clipboard. This is the, the number that we were originally looking for. But you can actually click this number here, or click this space here rather, and it will take you into the ad. It will keep everything that you were learning or Facebook was learning inside of that particular ad, which will allow you to move forward. The only issue is that, uh, as you can see here, it says that it's iOS 14. This was before that. This was fall of like 2021 ads. I just picked a random one. You can find your original one, um, but make sure that the domain is selected. There we go. And then also make sure that the placements will work too. So you wanna make sure to select the placements to edit. I think this particular one doesn't work as well for Instagram, um, as you can see here, or it's maybe too long, whatever that may be. So make sure that the placements are able to be moved forward and then you would hit publish from that. So you take out the winning element, the one that was getting you the return, you isolate it by itself with a new campaign, and then you use the same exact post ID and allow it to spend, it being Facebook, allow it to spend more money for that particular ad. All right, so that is pretty much everything as far as what you need to do, step one, step two, but the most important part, right, is scaling. So. 
let's talk about that. But before we jump into Ads Manager and actually talk about scaling that winning ad, I wanted to tell you guys about our free masterclass training for clothing stores that will walk you through the five pillars that you must have in place for your online store to scale consistently and profitably no matter what is happening in the world. So if you want access to that free 20 minute training, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. So step number one, right? We need to find a winning ad. Step number two is to really take advantage of that winning ad, uh, put it in its own position. And then as the ad begins to win, now it is about taking it to the next level. So number three is to scale that winning ad. Um, so this right here is likely one of the easiest things to do as long as you know a few things about your business. Now, if you do not know these numbers, it is time that you do um, what you will need to know, right? So think about this for your business, write this down, whatever you need to do, these are the things that you do need to know. Number one, your cash conversion cycle for 30 days, especially if you are in something like a fast fashion world, what is the lifetime value in the next 30 days? Number two, cost for acquisition. What can you spend to acquire a customer? What's your current cost per acquisition if you have it? And number three, COGS, cost of goods sold, meaning how much does it actually cost for you to sell this shirt delivered to that customer? If you know those numbers, then you can scale and with extreme confidence. Right? So there's one thing to be able to scale and be like, ah, I don't know if this is gonna work, but as long as you know those numbers, you can scale with confidence. So let's jump into Ads Manager so I can show you what I mean and what I'm talking about with the scaling side of things. All right, so what has happened now is we have taken the ad that has worked well and we've put it into its own campaign and now the campaign is starting to run. This has been running for a very short period of time. As you can see here, it's still learning. We have it set as a one day click. It's gotten two times its money really don't take this too much of a you know one way or another like if it was doing well then great if it was not then again just let it learn over time now as it starts to do well what you would want to do is continue to scale that so this is broken out and we will just do this i just want to highlight this one section right here this conversions campaign it's by itself it has one particular ad set that's a broad post id and then we have three i think it looks like we have one video and a graphic and an image that are all going um scaling right now and then as you can see return here for three two but as long as it can stay like say for example what is our cost per purchase here so let's say for example, our cost for acquisition number we had to be within was like $35. Well, cool. We have $10 or $9 worth of like scaling room. What we'd wanna do is continue to put in new content so that it lowers the cost. But at the same time, as long as it stays within that parameter, I want it to scale. So if it did well yesterday and we're getting $22 purchases, then scale 10%. If it does really well today, and it's getting $23 purchases, scale again. You want to push this to the point of where your cost per acquisition is, and then at the same time, continue to create better content for that. Now, there are ways that you can set up rules um, to where this will do this for you automatically. I would suggest not doing that right away, just doing it manually for yourselves, checking it, seeing it how it's doing, making sure you actually use software like Triple Whale to make sure that these numbers are accurate. But hey, as long as it's doing well, scale at the campaign level and just do 10%. And then the next day do 10%. And the next day didn't do 10%. If it, if it drops, then hold steady. If the cost rises, then stay steady. Don't worry about increasing. But as long as the cost for acquisition stays within your parameters, continue to add budget. And that is how you scale. It's super simple, super easy. And there are automated ways that you can make Facebook do all of the work for you. But like I said, if you're just starting out, you're at spending $100 to $500 a day, probably would not look at doing it um, automated yet, unless you've done this for a couple of months or you know, I would say a couple of, at least a month, and then you can put it in where you can actually trust Facebook um, and give it its money. Because imagine scaling 10% every single day, right? That's a, that easily spends a lot more money. So you gotta be confident with what's going on. Some people like to have a little bit more control. Make the decision for yourself. But that is how we would scale uh, this particular campaign. And then just continue to put in new ads. So if this denim one didn't do as well, or the shoe one didn't do as well, I would take them out or turn them off and then put in a new ad. Continuously getting better. Right, here's the ones that's doing well, continue to spend the budget. If it's not doing well, drop it out, that's it. Now that you know how to pick winning Facebook ads, it's time to create great creative. So make sure you go watch this video next. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Hope you have a great rest of your day.